How do you feel? Uh -huh. One of the issues that led to a ban on labor export in 2016 was the growing concern that domestic workers exported to work in foreign countries, especially in the Middle East, were being conscripted into sexual slavery, tortured and dehumanized. Have a small gift for Though the ban was later lifted, some of the concerns still remained. Now as one of the ways of mitigating against mistreatment of Ugandans working in the Middle East, the government of Uganda and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia have entered a partnership which is meant to ensure the safety of Ugandans working in Saudi Arabia. Originally the contract was binding the receiving company, but now the company that exports will be liable for the welfare and to account for a worker that has been exported. While addressing the media on Friday morning, Labor Minister Janet Mukwaya announced that the workers will have access to phones installed with the monitoring system in order to report any mistreatment to the Labor Ministry directly. We have developed a monitoring system within, between ourselves and the embassy in Jeddah that will track our children as they work. The Saudi Arabia ambassador admitted that there had been some cases of mistreatment in the past with the new system and guidelines is the safety of the workers is guaranteed. الله أيضا مع الوزيرة تعمل على أيضا التعاون بين الوزارتين في مجالات أخرى. And إن شاء الله we are waiting from the minister to make another agreement إن شاء الله. The new system will enable the ministry to monitor the contracts of workers in these countries so that they are not breached by the employers. We are going for further scrutiny. We are going to give each individual company, Ugandan company, a unique tracer number. So if I give you a tracer number one, and I give all the companies one M, I give two Z, so on my system in my office I'll be seeing how the M's are moving into the M, the one, the one, the one, the one Z. Three registered labor export companies have officially started using the new recruitment system under the close supervision of the Ministry of Labor. Uh, the contract I am signed and uh, my agent, he will sign. And the housemaid uh, signed the contract and the owner house signed the contract. I feel that our workers will be um, uh, comfortable and safe. A licensed company will be accountable for that single person. And then also they have a standard contract which defines the salary, the working condition, they need to have sleeping arrangement, they need to have food. The Ministry of Labor plans to enter similar partnerships with other countries to which Uganda supplies labor. Where I'm going, because my earnings were too low, but where I'm going to work for me. So I want to go abroad and at least add on my income. Government opts that with better monitoring systems, cases of mistreatment of Ugandan workers, especially in the Middle East, will soon become a thing of the past. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.